Hello, Monday Ballet 2. I have some choreography for you. I'm excited to share it with you. Um, thank you for being patient. I know it's been a wait for me to get it up, so I appreciate you being very patient with me. Um, we obviously can't do spacing in the video because that I need all of you in the studio for. Thankfully, we'll be back on Monday. Hopefully, I'll see a lot of you. Um, so we have a phrase that we're going to learn that's going to be what we do entering onto the stage and we're going to come in hopefully in two lines and kind of zigzag and follow each other on. Um, you'll keep doing the same leg over and over and over so don't get confused. Even if you're facing the opposite direction it's still going to be the same leg. So just keep that in mind. It's always going to be same set. Um, and then we have like a little adage section where we're gonna be moving together. There will be some other movement phrases that we won't learn today because I want to do those when I have you in person so I know where you are so I can tell you to do the right part instead of guessing and then having to reteach you and wasting everybody's time. So just know that this isn't your whole dance, this is part of it, but it's a good chunk of it and it's gonna be uh, lots of good movement for you to think about and work on before we are in the studio together. Um, let me get your music. We are dancing to Swan Lake, which I think you all know that already. Swan Lake is a beautiful ballet. It's one of my favorites, but it's super long and there's lots of very advanced dancing. So it's probably not something we'll ever get to do at ABA, at least not the whole thing. So it's exciting to get to take this time that's a little unusual for us and um, use some music that we wouldn't normally use. So that's kind of a special treat out of all of this crazy situation. Um, your music is in the first act. It's one of the very first songs. It's called um, the, the, it's the opening for the pas de trois, which means dance of, or step of three, uh, which is in this case, it's a one gentleman and two ladies. It's a really fun, dance. So we're not doing the whole pas de trois. There's a few songs and it's pretty long. But we're doing the first one and even this song is long. So let me play it for you just a little bit so you can hear it. It's a little quiet outside. You can hear it. That gives you the idea. That's pretty much it. It goes back and forth kind of between those two musical phrases. It is a lot longer than that, so that's just the part of the music. Um, so the phrase, the first phrase I'm going to teach you, this is one we're going to do coming onto the stage and then also transitioning to a different shape later on. So it's one that I really want you guys to be very clear on. Um, I think with the video, I'm going to show it to you on the opposite side of what I'm going to say. So uh, I'll show it to you facing you and then I think I'll do it with you facing away so that you can follow my, make sure you're on the right leg, the correct leg I should say. So we start with two polonaises. Um, I think ladies, I'm going to have your arms crossed for the polonaise. And then, my gentlemen, your arms will be fifth on Avon. Yeah. Um, so the polonaises, you'll start with your, go ahead and start, actually let's start, go ahead and start in a tonti, that'll work. And it's gonna be a right leg that you step on first. So I'm gonna do the ladies' arms, gentlemen, remember you're here. 
So we're gonna do two polonaise. I have to keep this under myself in the space because I don't have a ton of room, but I really want you guys to travel these. So you step up, up, plie on your right leg, brush your left leg. I'm gonna scoot back, but don't scoot back. And then you do your other leg, so it's your left leg. You go up, up, brush your right leg. From there, you're going to, so right now you're facing uh, the direction that you're traveling, you're going to do just a little quarter turn and you're gonna balance, say, towards that foot that's extended. So don't move your foot, move your body. Bloop. And you're gonna balance, say, it'll be a right foot onto your right foot, balance, say, right, balance, say, left. And then you're stepping into a fourth, stepping back into the direction that you're traveling. So you gotta pivot again. Step forth, reach, first arabesque. Ta da! And my head's cut off. It's okay, you don't need to see my head. So that's the phrase we do it over and over. To get into the second set, we're gonna pull through a susu. Um, so you're gonna go susu up, pull your back leg in, and your arms go back to your position, either here or here. And then you're gonna stay up to go to the next set. So you have up, up, brush your left foot, and up, up, brush your right foot, turn, balance, say, and balance, say, and step forth. Let's bring your arms fifth on a bond, reach to your arabesque. So we do that over and over, coming on, we'll have two lines, a line in the front and a line starting in the back, and we're going to kind of do this, and we'll end up making four lines. So what's gonna be a little bit confusing is if you're coming on from the front, you're gonna do this facing the audience, bum, 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 and a balance, say, balance, say, step, doop. As you come around the corner, you're still doing the same leg, bum, 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 but you're gonna have to face the back because you're gonna step on your right leg, it's pointed this way, so you're gonna face the back, bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, step and uh, reach. So it'll always be the same side. You'll always step on your right leg first, but it's gonna face the opposite direction depending on which way you're traveling. So if you are traveling from stage left, which remember stage left is from the dancer's perspective facing the audience, it's the dancer's left and then stage right is the dancer's right, when the dancer is facing the audience. So if you're going from stage left to stage right, your balance say will be to the audience. Bum, 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 bum. If you're going stage right to stage left, your balance say is gonna be with your back to the audience, but it's the same leg. So when we're all together, uh, we'll go through that just to make sure you're clear on how that works. But if you have space, even in your backyard, to practice this in a little zigzag guy like this, that would be really helpful for you all to get used to facing the different directions. But it's always going to be starting on your right leg. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to do it with you. I am going to do this first time facing you like I just did with music. And I'm going to be stepping on my left leg, but you guys are mirroring me, so you do right. And then I'm gonna do it with you again, facing the other way, with uh, me stepping on the right leg, and you guys still step on the right leg. Ooh, I'm glitching out. Hopefully, it's still recording. Okay, glitching out for a second, who knows? Okay, dancers, so just know also that you're gonna be starting in the line. You're gonna be coming on at different times, so you're doing the same phrase, but you're, you're probably not gonna be starting right with the first music. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Ready, so you have your first stepping, stepping. One, two, brush. Step, step, brush, balance, say side. Side, step, arabesque, pull it in. One, two, three, and a step. I'm out of room, you will be traveling. We'll just do that over and over, coming on. All right, so just to clarify for you guys, I want that to travel a lot. I can't, and you might not be able to in your space, but when we get into the studio, big traveling steps. Okay guys, I'm gonna do it with you 
starting with my right leg. And this is more or less going to go straight flat. Um, you'll come around the corner and kind of have to whoo, do a little swerve, but it's mostly traveling side to side, not on diagonals for this section. All right, next one. Next time, I'm going with you guys. Stepping on my right leg. Oh. Step, step, brush. Step, step, brush, balance, a side to side. Up, step, step, brush. Turn and balance, a balance, a step, reach. All right. Good dancers. The next part. Once we are into our spots. We're all going to be fifth position, facing right to the audience. Our right leg will be in front. So I'm gonna do the opposite from you guys. Ah, stepping on my heel. Um, we start with our right arm. So we go right arm goes front, and the left arm follows. Open to second, open to second. And you're using your head on that. So doing that again, we go one and a two and a three and a four. Ta -da. That's going to be all together. Everybody working together. Then we reach our right arm on the diagonal. Our right leg shoots out to the side as we round our arm over our head. Sorry, now my arm's getting cut off. Fifth on Yvonne. And then as you go through second position, we go arm comes down and we swivel to a first arabesque tondu. Yeah, so that's four counts for that part. So your little porter bras are four counts and then getting your arabesque is four counts. So again, it's one and a two and a three and a four, five and a six and a seven. Whoops, don't fall over. Seven and eight, running into my bar. Ta-da! Uh, from there, we're all going to lift up to arabesque up in the air for two counts. We have two counts up and two counts down. Um, I would like it to all be the same height. So we're going to go a little below 90. This is definitely like a core dance. Yeah, the core de ballet, the group um, that does a lot of the group dances in a ballet company. So um, when you're in a core, you want to match everybody else. Yeah, you still have your own way of doing things, but you're trying to have your leg the same height and move at the same time. That's what makes it really magical and just absolutely beautiful to watch. And that's really what makes it super hard too, is having to watch each other. So I know some of us can lift our leg crazy high, but I, that's not what we're going for with this one. We're going for unification, un unity, yes. So. From here, you lift up your left leg up a little bit, a little below 90, and back to your tondu. And then we have one count to plie, one count to pull into susu. Broop. We stay in our susu, try not to wiggle, and we open our arms to a V. Ta da! Yeah. Okay, so going back, we have one and a two and a three and a four, five and a six and a seven and eight, lifting one and two, I'm out of room, three, four, plie, five, pull and six, arms open to a V, seven and eight. Let's try that with music. So this is right after we've done our entry all together um, phrase that we just learned, the walking one. All right. So that's one more. It's on the musical chain if you practice this with the music without the video. So it's right where the music changes. Here we go. One, two, Three and a four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Yeah. Yay! Okay, from here. Da, 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 da. Uh, so this is going to be in a cannon. Um, obviously, I don't know who's going to be where at this point, but it'll be front row, middle row. Uh, sorry, front row, second row, third row, back row. So one, two, three, four. Um, regardless of where you are, you have two counts to chasse forward. So you chasse forward through your fifth plie. And as you get there, you flip your hands so that your palms are up. Ta-da! So we are in a V. As we chasse forward, we go bum, flip, bar, hands. Ta-da! And we're gonna stop there. There's a little, there's more, but it's gonna get confusing because it's gonna be a little bit of a cannon. So we'll, we'll end that in the studio. Um, and then there is more dancing and we go into the, that beginning phrase again as well. But that gives you all some to work on. Um, I wanna do that last phrase one more time and I'm gonna do it with my back to you just to make sure you're clear which leg is going. So you might not be able to see my arms super well, but we just did the arms a bunch, so just follow along. Make sure you can see me. Okay. So our right leg's in front. Arms fifth on ball. And we go right arm in. Depending on which line you are, we go chasse and reach. Yeah. Each line will have a different timing. Okay. Well, that is a very good uh, amount of choreography for you all to work on this week. Really work on cleaning it for yourself, making sure that you are very, very clear um, on the arms and the legs and the head and all that good stuff. If you have questions about it, save it for when we're in the studio and uh, bring those in, maybe write them down so you remember and bring them in and ask when we're in person. And I'm excited to see you all soon. Happy dancing. Have a good day.